the first thing I want y'all to write down real quick is I want you to write down money boils down to two things. Money boils down to two things, terminology and perspective, terminology and perspective. So when you see me kind of pull you to the side and I do my financial education pieces, this, believe it or not, has everything to do with building the business as well. Here's why. The number one thing that's gonna knock you out the game when you build the business is other people's perception of your business. So a lot of times you, want, you can act as tough as you want. If you hear no enough times and you hear this doesn't make sense enough times and you hear um, I don't understand that enough times, you start to buy into their uh, beliefs, opinions, and philosophies. So every now and then when I pull you to the side and say, hey, let me show you something on the wealth worksheet real quick. Hey, let me show you something on the schedule C real quick. Hey, let me show you a stock. Let me show you how stocks actually work real quick. Hey, let me show you the difference between a real asset and a um, col and, um, uh, collateral real quick. What I'm doing is I'm actually building your posture so that you can stand strong and firm on your belief that building the business is going to make you wealthy, but you have to learn the right terminology and perspective. We have to stop thinking that money is one size fit all. Money is not one size fit all. For example, my portfolio and some risk I can take won't be the exact same thing as the portfolio of somebody that's 65 and the risk they can take. Your portfolio and you investing in real estate right now might be great, but you live in such and such where this person should not invest in real estate right now because they still got, they live in an area where real estate is not booming and they may have some things to get off their credit. See, anytime people talk about money, they try to give financial advice and they don't understand. It, all, it actually depends on the terminology or actually the perspective of the person that's listening. Does that make sense? So never give one size fit all advice and never listen to one size fits all advice, okay? And, and when I do these wealth worksheets, I wanna teach you terminology and perspective and I always use this example. And this is something you guys can borrow. It, it takes a while to really get it down, but once you get this, you can borrow from this. In basketball and football, they both have something called a field goal. Okay, so Mr. Taylor, Mr. Taylor just popped up on the screen. I'm gonna act like I'm talking to my man, Mr. Taylor. So Mr. Taylor, give me a thumbs up. Both sports got field goals, am I right? Now, Mr. Taylor, in basketball, a field goal is two points. In football, a field goal is three points. Okay, but they both field goals. In other words, when I shoot from the field, I'm getting two points, okay, in basketball. When I kick a field goal in football, I'm getting three points. Now, a two-pointer, in football does exist, but it's called a safety, okay? <laughs> and a three-pointer in basketball does exist, but it's called a three-pointer. Now I'm confusing y'all on purpose, all right? I'm confusing y'all on purpose. A field goal or a one-pointer does exist in football, but it's called an extra point. A one-pointer does exist in basketball, but it's called a free throw. Most people, don't understand terminology and perspective. So they playing the wrong game in the wrong sport and that's why they losing financially. They don't understand the terminology. So if you say field goal in basketball, I know you shooting. If you say field goal in football, I know you kicking. If you say two points in football, I know it's a safety. If you say two points in basketball, I know it's a field goal. The problem, Michelle, in America is people trying to shoot three pointers on the football field. And that's everybody's problem. They don't even know what the words mean. They don't know what a bond is. They don't know what a stock is. They don't know what interest mean. They don't know, they don't know none of this stuff. You see, the problem with most people is their terminology and their perspective is off. So Shakira, they'll never get rich. If you, it's like me confusing you with these words in sports, safety, three-pointer, field goal. Well, Brian, I thought that was one point. No, that's one point in basketball. That's a free throw. Well, what's one point in football or it's an extra point but I thought it was a field goal well you do kick it through the uprights but it's three points if it's a field goal but I thought that was basketball well it's two points in basketball see that's what that's what America is doing to you right now 
They got you confused about stocks, bonds, mutual funds, e NFTs, EFTs. They got you confused about cryptocurrency. They got you confused about whether or not you should invest in real estate. They got you confused about interest rates. They got you confused about credit cards, student loans, 501c3, 401k, 1099, Schedule K, Schedule C, W4, W2, W9. You see the confusion? <laughs> so what they want you to think is that finances is difficult. I'm here to tell you it's easy. Finances is easy. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to teach your children finances. But look, you got to have the right terminology and perspective. See, it's hard when you don't even know the words. Like somebody tell you, um, your 401k is a great investment. Do y'all know that's actually not, that's not the right terminology. 401k is a tax code. Okay, your 401k is a tax code. It's not even an investment. It's what protects the investment. The investment is what your employer is putting in your 401k. You see, how much interest would this stock bring back? Believe it or not, y'all, stock, stock doesn't bring back interest. It brings back dividends. You, you see, see people, see, when I talk to people and they like, well, I got a whole bunch of interest on that stock. You didn't get, you didn't get no interest on that stock. <laughs> stock, bring, stock pays a dividend, you see? So, terminology and perspective, once I teach that, you are going to empower so many people by giving them a basic educational lesson in how money works, okay? Y'all, that's how you're gonna attract the masses. The masses just don't want all of the confusion and the uh, extra, extra sauce on it that make it all hard. What most people try to do they try to make themselves sound smart by giving you a bunch of verbiage. And then in doing so, they don't realize, look, we didn't even need all that. Just tell me how to save, make, and grow some money. 